Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. So in this video I am talking about the basic components or can say parts of a milling machines. So you can easily understanding the working principle as well as the sum of the functions of the parts. So let us start with the working principle of milling machines. So just you can concentrate over here. Our milling cutter is being attached or can say mounted onto the spindle or you can say the arbor in case of the milling machines. So either this milling cutter it will be rotated into clockwise directions or you can say the anti-clockwise directions. So for the machining purpose of a different job so that workpiece material is fed against the rotating tool. Either it will be clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation of a milling cutters. So generally in case of milling cutter it will be attached onto the spindle and workpiece is directly mounted onto the table with the help of some of the clamping device or you can also use the sum of the clamping vise to fix the workpiece and carried out the different machining operations onto the milling machines. So just you can see the metal removal take place due to the cutting action of a revolving milling cutters when the workpiece is fed on it. So according to your required shape and size of your job, you can use the different size and types of the cutters. So cutter is hauled into a spindle or arbor. Operation is performing on a milling machine so that would be called as a working principle of a milling machine to start with the principal parts of a milling machines so just you can see over here there are so many components is being used for easily positioning of the tool and the workpiece for the performing of a different positions so here it will be the two views of a milling machines first one is the front view and a side view if you can see the milling machines so generally starting with the base then the column, overarm, arbor bracket, so that will be containing with the arbor, so on arbor cutting tools and with the base that will be the vertical transverse handle for the moment, knee, cross, traverse handle, then the machine wise to holding the workpiece. There are so many components so you can easily controlling the feed speed laptop cart and you can also visualize or observe the how the cutting action it will be performing by the milling machines so let us start with the one by one so starting with the base so just you can concentrate over here so base is made with a uh, heavy castings and provide at the bottom of the machines and also act as a load taking member for all other parts of the machines and that will be also containing with the reservoir of the coolants. So coolant will be transferring from the base to your cutting area and once again that will be collected onto the reservoirs. You can use the different filters and once again that will be the repeated motions of the that cutting fluids. So column of the machine is secured to the base. Now the second one column. So that will be the many parts and the controls are fitted with the columns. So you can easily controlling the machines during the different kind of operations with the different kind of cutters onto the different kind of workpiece material. Then the vertical parallel guideways are provided on a front face of the column in which 
knee slides up and down so you can easily adjusting the height of the job with respect to your cutter positions and you can performing the different milling operations so on the top of the column overarm is being supported so with the overarms it will be the arbor brackets arbors and different cutting tools is being mounted onto the arbors so that will be the making a bridge between the base and the overarm and that will be having a heavy member so that will be also resist the so many stocking loads then knee that will be the very important member and that will be also made with the rigid casting materials just you can see over here with the movement of the knee the table height or you can say distance between the cutter and workpiece can be easily adjusted and that will be you can also use by the manually so by operating the screw jack with the help of the hand wheel or you can say power fed mechanism is being used to adjust the table height can be used and that should be according to the requirement of the performing the operations then table that will be made of the ci or you can say cast iron with its top surface accurately machines because that will be the area when actually the workpiece is being fixed onto the table either it will be direct or you can also use with the help of machine wise so to accommodate the clamping bolts for the fixing the workpiece the top surface of the table carries the longitudinal t slots so according to the figure then saddle important part so that will be the intermediate part between the table and the knee which act as a support for the tables and to provide the cross fit to the table the saddle can be adjusted crosswise along with the guideways provided onto the top of the knee so you can easily positioning your cutter positions with respect to your required machining surface so the horizontal guideways are provided at the top of the saddle along with the table can be moved into the longitudinal directions so you can easily positioning with your tool overarm that will be the important part of a milling machines so heavy support provided on the top of the machines to support the projecting arbor it can slide horizontally forward and backward and adjusted at a required positions arbor so that will be used for holding the milling cutters during the operations and it is common method of mounting the cutters although they are mounted onto the machine spindle directly to or you can say the arbors are mainly two types of standard arbors and stub arbors so according to my requirements both the arbors are being used for the standard arbors it is provided with the set of the spacing collars so collars is being used for separate out the different kind of milling cutters so with this help in adjusting the cutter positions the slots are provided onto the flange of the arbor to engage the driving docks of the spindles then the second arbor that will be the stub arbors are mainly used to hold the face and the side milling cutters which do not be need in a large overhang so according to the my requirements we are using standard arbors as well as the stub arbors so the arbors just you can see over here in that case of the standard arbors the slot to engage the driving dock so that will be the shank part with the flange and in the middle sections that will be the cutters and uh, spacing collars is being used for using a number of the milling cutters according to my requirements and that will be all fixed with the help of nut so just you can see over here that will be the bearing sleeves spacing collars keys and number of cutters for the standard arbors now you can see for the stub arbors over here so in that case our shank is be fitted with the arbor and in that case that will be the straddle type of or you can say side milling cutters is being attached with the application of the clamping screw with respect to your movement so generally both are having its own applications 
And according to that, we have to select which kind of arbor is being suitable for our operations. So if you like it, then subscribe and share mechanical magic, mechanical learning tutorials. Thank you very much.